Hello everybody, I want to show you an assessment cycle. But before starting with the assessment cycle, I want to show you a standard hierarchy of cost centers. I will use controlling area 1104 and this controlling area is composed by three cost centers. CC01, 1104 and 1105. I will use 1104 and 1105 in the assessment center. In the assessment um, cycle, cycle, sorry. Um, the first step for the assessment cycle was created a an actual posting so that here through this through FB FB fifty I I have already done done it I created a a posting in the cost center 1104. I will show you in the report. Okay, I will leave this transaction and I'll show you in the report that I have already. Post it. Okay, I'll, sh I'll go to controlling to cost center accounting and to the report of cost centers. I post 1000 of INR in the cost center. 1104 and and account 1004 uh, rent manufacturing okay this is the first step of the assessment cycle uh, before doing the assessment cycle the sender must have a primary cost element posting so this is the, fir the first step. Okay, second step. I have already created a secondary cost element because assessment cycle requires, requires a secondary cost element. I'll show you in the screen. Okay, let's go to general ledger. No, no document entry, general ledger, master record, GL accounts, their processing, and I'll show you where this account is. This, I have already created 100604 as a secondary cost element with the cost element category 42 assessment okay this is this, the second step for for the assessment cycle and let's go to, to to the assessment cycle itself okay which is accounting controlling cost element accounting and period at closing single functions allocations and the transaction um, I don't like to no I don't know by heart so many so many transactions I prefer the tree but it's all mm, up to you if you prefer the transaction themselves than the tree for me, it's more comfy to look for in the tree 
for a particular transaction. Okay, so let's let's go on. And I have already created my, my cycle. Okay, first I, I will I will only display it and and then execute execute the assessment cycle. Okay, but I I will display display it. Okay, so this is my, my assessment cycle and with only first one segment. Okay, one segment that consists on introducing the assessment cost element that we have already created, number 42, type 42. Okay, send the rule. The posted amounts. Uh, we, we saw that the posted amount were one thousand. Okay, and the receiver rule is fixed amount. I, I'll show you in in the other tab where 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 you can see the fix the fixed amount. Okay, in the part of the sender. There is the, the cost center 1104 and you have to put the cost element. It's illogical because it uh, for, for the sender has to receive any any primary cost element. Okay? And in the part of the receiver is the cost element 1105. You can post a group, you can post another different a receiver. We, I think, I will try to, to to do another assessment cycle or distribution cycle with another receiver, such as order, such as uh, other a different receiver. Okay, the, this is the same the same um, way of filling the, these these fields. Okay. From the part of sender values is one percent, one hundred percent, and the version, the zero version. Okay, and I put a, an amount five hundred. Okay, as a fix, fixed amount. So this is my my segment. Okay, I have already saved everything, and we will proceed to to the to execute my, my. Okay, I will I will execute first in this wrap. Okay, as you can see, there's no no mistakes here. And sender is one and number of reserve is one. So I will proceed to unmark this run and go to, to real execute. Okay, sender is one and receiver is one. Uh, despite there is an errors, let's see in the report if, if there is no no errors for for this. Okay, let's check the report. Okay, it seems that 